Okay, so this is the GSI 61 clinical audiometer, and this is a part one video of how to use it, and just I'm going to show you some of the different parts of the audiometer. So on the bottom, we have our manual controls, and on top, we have our display screen. So when we're testing somebody's hearing, we are usually focused in channel one. So channel one, it has our different stimulus types. So your stimulus is what you're presenting to the patient. So you have your tones, which are the different beeps that are used to establish threshold for air and bone conduction. And then you have your mic and extension A and B, which are used for speech audiometry. So mic is used when you're doing live testing, and then extension A and B are, is used when you're doing recorded speech testing. And if we move over to the right-hand side, we have our transducers, which is how your stimulus is being presented to the patient. So the, on top, we have our phone, which is when you're using headphones. Next, we have bone, which is when the bone oscillator is on the patient and you're establishing threshold for bone conduction. Then we have our speaker. So on the patient side of the booth, there's two speakers on the left and right hand side. And when you're in that setting, the stimulus will be presented through those speakers. And lastly, we have our insert headphones. Below that, we have routing, which basically tells us if the stimulus is being presented uh, to the left or the right side. And there's even a setting where you could have it presented uh, simultaneously through the left and right. If we take a look at the bottom center of our manual controls, we have frequency. So these buttons uh, just switch to the different frequencies to test. And then below that, we have our talk forward button. So our talk forward button is used when we want to communicate with the patient on the other side. Um, so in order for that to work, you have to um, press the button down and continue holding it down for as long as you want to communicate with the patient. Um, it's also important to look at your on the right hand side, the talk forward DBHL dial, which just tells you how loud your voice is being presented to the patient. So you just want to make sure that the the intensity level is at, is comfortable for them. You don't want it to ever be too loud or too soft. So next we have our uh, big dial that's on our left and our right hand side. So what our dials do is just change the intensity level of what's being presented to the patient. So now when you uh, actually want to present a tone to the patient, what you have to do is press the button on the right hand side next to the dial. So when you press the button down, the tone will be presented. And when you release the button, the, the tone will stop. But above our that long button, you have your interrupt button. So what your interrupt button basically does is we press it once and that tone will be continuously playing to the patient until you press it and release the interrupt button. You always know when a tone is being presented to the patient because if you look up at your display screen, um, that little speaker just lets you know that there's something being presented to the patient. So also to get into our display screen, it just tells us our channel one, our frequency and our channel two. So we're just focusing on channel one in this video, but our, that big number under channel one is basic, is just the intensity level that is being presented to the patient. And below that, it tells us um, what stimulus type you're using, uh, what transducer you're using and whether the uh, stimulus is being presented to the right and left hand side. And then in the center, it just lets you know which frequency uh, you're testing at.